Most people that know me know that I've always been a massive fan of stand-up comedy and one of my all-time favorite comedians is Brian Callen. Back in 2017 when I was filming Rescue Dog to Super Dog for Animal Planet, not only did Brian Callen help me with the show through mentorship, but he also took the time to film this short video to help me grow my brand, which I'm incredibly grateful for. So a huge thank you to Brian Callen, Chris Pollock, and Ellen Doyle for helping me put this short video together. Hey guys, Nate Schomer here, dog trainer, and I'm with Brian Callen, and he has a problem. Two dogs that are a bit unruly. And I'm gonna solve this problem for him and make them not unruly. What we're gonna do today is basically a consultation. I wanna see what his problem is exactly, where are his dogs in the training process, and try to figure out what his goals are. What does Brian want his dogs to do? Does he want them to sit, to down, to come, to heal, to go to their place, to stay there, to do backflips, whatever it is, I'm gonna glean that information from him, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up with an awesome training plan and move forward. I'd also like to see a little bit of a demonstration from him. I want him to show me what his dogs can do. So basically, I'm gonna see if he can give his dogs a couple commands, and see if they can listen to him do those couple of commands. Hey guys, thanks for joining us again. I'm Nate Schomer, here with the amazing, incredible actor, comedian, podcast host. Athlete. Athlete. All around athlete. All around lover, athlete. Giver to all mankind. Very, very humble. Humble. Uh, Brian, dog lover, dog lover. Dog lover. A man who runs with dogs and sometimes wolves. Runs with dogs and sometimes wolves. That's right. And you're here to help me, you know, basically train these animals that, that have zero training. I wouldn't say I have zero. No control. See what I mean by humble? He says zero training, but they still kind of follow you. That's because I have a natural <laughs> sort of charismatic magnetic energy. They kind of sit, yeah. right? Well, I mean, my animals are drawn to me. My essence: wild horses, wolves, uh, dogs. Well, you Marines. Have, you have that very positive, outgoing energy, and dogs tend to gravitate towards that. So I like thinking of it as sexual, but okay. I mean, that, yeah, whatever floats your boat, right? Gotcha. I mean, gotcha. <laughs> but the main thing here is you do have really nice dogs, and we're gonna take them and we're gonna teach them to do everything that you've been struggling with. Yeah, like as in, I can can they not pull on me? Nah. Like I, I feel like I'm uh, I'm in the Iditarod. Like I'm literally I'm mushing my dogs. I don't know where they think they're going, but they're just like, let's go. Do they? Do they do the eh, Yeah, it thing? drives me crazy. I'm like, how can you be that dumb? You're choking yourself. Can you guys get, like, I want them. Some of the things that Brian told me in our conversation was he has two awesome dogs, but they have a couple basic problems that a lot of people run into. So one big one is they pull on the leash, right? You see people walking down the street all the time and their dogs going eh, 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 as they're leading the way, right? That's not only a problem because it's uncomfortable as they're walking, but it also could be potentially harmful to the dog after years of doing that. We want to fix that. Yeah. I want them yep. at my knees. Is that possible? That's absolutely possible. And the cool thing about heel, a lot of people think heel means walk with me. Yeah. Heel means a position. Okay. It's this position next to you. So when you walk, in order for the dog to maintain heel, yeah. so happens they have to walk with you. Right. So I that's what that. we're teaching. We're teaching them simply a position. Okay, can we get them to come when I call them? We can get them to come. What else? Leave. That's it. Just Leave. come. Come here. Just come. Come here. That's a good girl. Yes! Sort of. Well, she, she came really, to me. That's a very rare occurrence. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I want them to come. And I, mainly, like, the, she'll, she'll listen to me sometimes, but if there's any distraction, I got no control over these dogs. Okay? And that's the biggest thing. If there's a dog over there, I'm losing them. If there's somebody pushing a cart over there, I'm losing them. So uh, I want a dog that's going to come to me when I call them. Gotcha. I want a dog that's going to heal at my knee when I'm walking and not pull me like I'm in the yep. idea to ride. I want a dog that's going to down. I want a dog that's going to stay. I want a dog, like when I have company, or I, I go to answer the door, I don't want them all over my guests. Jumping I, I, up on that. Yeah, sure jumping too. up on there. So I don't know what we're You want to sit that. too, I'm assuming? I want to sit too. And then the one that I think is going to help with what you just mentioned, as far as people come to the door, or you have guests, yeah. you don't want to have to put them in the crate every single time. Exactly. So what we do is we teach them what I like to call a climb command. A climb command. Climb as command. Climb that and I'm going to do a shout out real quick. Okay, go ahead. Tom Rose School, right? That's the place that taught me how to be a professional dog trainer, and they're the ones that really established that climb command. Okay. So you almost know a trainer if they say climb that they came from Tom Rose. Oh, really? A lot of other people will say place. But you call it what you want. Well, but Tom Rose over here, guys. Tom Rose is pretty awesome. Climb. So. Climb. 
So what the climb command is, though, is basically it's anything elevated. It's not climbing up on you, right? Because I don't think you'd want the dogs jumping no. up on you. Maybe on my back. But it's <laughs> it's climbing up on anything that's elevated. Okay. So you can use it climb up on this. Well, you don't want them to jump on on the fire pit, but you right. get the point. Right. Climb on the porch. Climb on a chair. Climb on a rock. Climb in your truck. Yeah. Or your car. Or whatever it is, yeah. you cruise around it. I drive a Tesla. Drive so around a Tesla. In my car. Tesla's amazing. Hashtag successful. What? Hashtag wealthy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice car. I saw you play the audience. You race in that too, don't you? Oh yeah. Just That's like fragrance. full throttle. Oh yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. hit like 60, 70 sometimes. I don't care. I'm crazy. 60, like 70? I take my seatbelt off, but I'm going like 40. Holy um, cow. I know. You, you, like, that's not I don't edge. follow rules, bro. Now listen, so so you're gonna get, speaking of rules though, we're gonna get these dogs squared away. They're gonna do what I tell them, basically. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna have dogs, exactly. I'm gonna have controlled dogs. See, I want dogs I can control. Control? Because, because for me, a controlled dog, from what I've heard, is a happy dog. Exactly right, and it's also a happy what? Not just dog. Owner. Owner, yes! Happy owner. <laughs> a control dog is a happy owner. Exactly. And it's a happy dog, too, because now they have a clear path to success. Yes. They know what they're supposed to do. Yeah. They know how to navigate within the human world in ways that other dogs don't. Yeah. And their life just becomes that much better. Yeah. So we don't have to work on tug. Can we get my dog to not chew my shoe? We can do that as well. Okay. <laughs> That's not a problem. Not chew my finger and not chew. Growl or anything. Yeah. So you showed me what they were able to do in here. What I think we should do is we should throw the leashes on them, yeah. go out on the street and really see how they behave with distractions. Let's do it, man. Perfect. All right, cool. Let's go. His dogs do kind of somewhat follow him within the yard, but I mean, the second we go out into a place where there's more distractions, they're all over the place. We want them to know just the basic commands. So they're not sitting for him, they're not downing for him, and they're definitely not staying. They're kind of in their old, own world. And Nico, his new puppy, is doing a lot of basic puppy behaviors. He's chewing on things, he's chewing on his shoes, he's barking and snarling, running around, a couple accidents inside the house, so we're gonna fix those as well. Hey, hey, oh. So she definitely wants to lead the way, and we're getting a little bit of competition from both of them. Yeah, is that what so, it is? Yeah, so one's trying to lead, and then the other one's trying to lead in front of, right? So they go back and forth with that. Yeah. Okay, right, that's, that's gonna what... be. And I well, deal with this all day. And Will they, they do they any cross leashes and they just go wherever they want? Can you try to tell them to sit, see if they'll yeah, do anything like hey, that? Hey, hey, okay, listen, both of you guys. Hey, hey, sit, sit. Yeah, sit, sit. Hey, or down, guys, down. Hey, Nico, Nico, come here, Nico, Nico, Nico. <laughs> Man, I really got some good command on my dogs. Hey, and this is what most people struggle with. I deal with this all day. It most... drives me crazy, honestly. And honestly, I'll be honest with you, I, walking my dog is not fun. Yeah, it takes the... It, it the... makes me more irritated. By the time I'm done with my dog walk, I'm irritated. Mm. Could I spend all day yelling at him going, hey, and I, I know that's the wrong thing to do. So I think what they're dealing with is schizophrenic. They're right. like, this guy's telling me that I can play, but then he, I, you know, I don't know how to communicate with the dog. So perfect picture for you though is the leash is nice and loose. You have one on each side and you're walking casually. And the only reason why the leash dream. is still on the dog yeah. is because it's required by law that they're leashed. That, that'd be pretty amazing. That's the only reason why it's there. That'd but be besides amazing. that, they're walking with you. That would be amazing. So we're gonna show them these things. This is simple obedience but it can be very difficult if you don't know what to do and you don't know how to communicate effectively so we're gonna take these dogs we're gonna show them what to do and we're gonna get you what you need all right because I'm being pulled in this that is direction. yeah they're and they're doing their own thing all right keep pulling on me keep walking that way that's it and keep walking generally and we'll just walk generally you pull on my my arm which then pulls on my neck and my back it's awesome perfect right. and now be distracted now be distracted now come over and say hi <laughs> They, they literally, this is what they do. And you think that the tension on their neck would stop them from doing it. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll fix that too. Oh, that's tough. See that? that, that that's, I'd really like to solve that problem. Right. Is that they keep, they, when they see a dog, they fall on their head. They go crazy. He wants to say that, hi. That's where off the least stuff, I could never get them to stop doing that. Just tell them. I'd like my dogs to stop barking at other dogs because that's where I could never have them off leash because the minute they see a dog, they go after it as you just saw. Yeah, he's this one's pulling one way, she's pulling the yes. other way, it's chaos. And they start barking and it gets nuts. Now, uh, yeah, so there it is. Big thing is, what do we want the picture to look like when it's done, right? You want to be able to walk with the dogs. You're looking good, you're feeling good. Yep. Dogs are looking good, feeling good. They're walking next to you. You stop, boom, they sit for you. 
You don't have to say sick. Really? They do. You say heal, boom, you guys are walking. Damn. Now you're walking as one, not right. this chaos. I like it, man. And I it's like gonna it. look good. It's gonna look real good. I like it. These guys are gonna have a lot of fun at the sanctuary. They're gonna do plenty of sits, plenty of downs. They're gonna really understand loose leash walking. We're also gonna do some really fun swimming with them. And we're gonna film a lot of this training so you'll be able to see what they're going through. And at the end, you'll get that product, you'll get that perfect dog that you're looking for. I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm pretty yeah, excited yeah. too. Distraction proof. Distraction proof, obedience, all that good uh, stuff. Hey, get out bush, of the bushes. Bush proof, I bush mean, proof. whatever oh, works. Man, look at this. Brian Callen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Nate Schomer, ladies and gentlemen, Nate <laughs> After speaking with Brian, there's a few things I'm going to start working on with his dogs right away. I'm going to continue to build their confidence. They're already super confident dogs, but we want to get them to be socialized. Because when he walks them on the street, they want to meet every other dog. So if they learn that meeting a dog's not a big deal, then they're no longer going to have that desire to want to meet every dog. I mean, think about if you've been in a cave your entire life, you're going to come out, you're going to want to high five everybody. But <laughs> You're not in a cave, and you get to talk to people on a daily basis, so seeing a new person really isn't a big deal, unless it's Brian Callen. Then you're going to want to run and shake his hand. But besides that, the dogs are going to have a blast. They're going to swim. They're going to do obedience every day, and they're going to have a lot of fun as well. Socialization, play, is a huge part of building that perfect dog. So I'm excited to move forward with this training program, and I'm super excited for you guys to see the results. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Brian Callen, and I have two dogs. They're great dogs. They're good dogs. love dogs. Problem is my dogs lack discipline. They don't do anything I tell them. In fact, they do what they want when. They think it's a free country, which is hilarious because they're dogs. So that's why I got Nate Schomer. Now, Nate Schomer is a dog trainer. You don't know him yet, but you will because he's got his own show on Animal Planet called Rescue Dog the Super Dog. He's going to take my problem dogs and turn them into super dogs. That's what he promised me. And if he doesn't, I'm going to have to ruin his reputation before he even has one. Well, it was an interesting uh, introduction. Uh, Nate assessed my dogs, and uh, I think he agrees that there's some work to be done. So I'm looking forward to, well, it's gonna be two weeks from now, and apparently my dogs are gonna heal. That means they're gonna be at my knee. They're gonna sit when I stop. They're gonna, they're gonna go down when I tell them to go down. They're gonna climb, climb, which is some term for get up on that stump over there, or get up on that ledge or that bench. I have no idea. Apparently they're gonna swim. They're gonna do all kinds of stuff. Maybe even roll over or spin, backflip, talk. I got no idea. Apparently he can do it all. We'll see. Sit. Come. Thank you. 
Good. Come on. Nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. I hope everyone enjoys today's video as much as we enjoyed putting it together. If you want to learn more about dog training, I offer Zoom training sessions. I have over 150 dog training instructional videos on my YouTube channel, or you can also get a copy of my dog training manual. If you want to support the channel, you can like, subscribe, or check out my website to become a Patreon or shop at either of my two online stores. All the links will be provided in the description of this video. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week.